Hi everyone! If you've got your hands on the Ruben Color Twin One laptop and started using it, trust me, you're in for a treat. The performance is top notch and the keyboard with spacious touchpad offers a satisfying typing experience. In response to some requests for more production details, let's dive into a closer examination of how Ruben Color's keyboards are crafted. The first step is all about handling the leather surface. We start by hard pressing the inner and outer layers together, creating a strong bond. This ensures the leather surface is seamlessly glued together. Then the after layer should be cold pressed on four sides to shape the edges and create a defined groove. After that, we use a laser engraving machine to trim the edges and cut them down to their final usable size. And here's the cherry on top, the Robin Color logo. We emboss it on the surface using hard pressing process. It's time to dive into the internal assembly process. It all starts with assembling the key core, followed by placing a mylar sheet on the back of the key core. Next up, we start by dispensing glue and placing the magnets in position. Once they are placed, we apply some pressure to ensure a secure bond. Moving on, we bring in the pre-assembled components like the keyboard PCB motherboard, touch panel components, and the batteries. Finally, it's time to install the hinge. Once it's placed, we secure all the connection lines and fix any loose ends. Once all parts are assembled, we use the dispensing machine to apply the glue and laminate the laser surface onto the keyboard keys. And then we use a holding machine to apply pressure and let it rest for about 12 minutes, securing the leather surface to the keyboard keys. And just like that, the process complete. Before it's leaf factory, the keyboard also needs to undergo a series of rigorous testing, such as vibration test, key left test, drop test, and touch panel force test. In fact, there are more than 20 tests in total. So this is the general production process of the keyboard. Thanks for watching.